My name is Madison Quatch, and I am from George Bush High School, and I am a ninth grader. Today, I will be talking about the bubonic plague. What is the bubonic plague? The bubonic plague is a rare, although it's a very serious disease, and it's also a bacterial infection that's transmitted by fleas, so it's most known for rats. The symptoms include fevers, chills, headaches, lymph nodes, fatigue, muscle ache, and tiredness, although death is common. The history. The bubonic plague most likely originated from Asia over 2,000 years ago, although it was also known as the Black Death and was most likely passed on through continents by trading ships. However, with the little knowledge, power, and ability to cure for this disease at the time, it ravaged Europe and a lot of Africa. To cure this disease in modern ways, we must treat the patient immediately. If we don't treat the patient between one or two weeks, they will most likely die. We must give them antibiotics after running tests through saliva and blood to check for plague germs. Although there weren't many ethical issues at the time in the medieval era, medieval medical practitioners usually had no way of curing this plague, although they attempted to through spiritual ways. The economic impact of this disease was strong, and the economy fell after trading came to a halt and laborers couldn't couldn't work or wouldn't work after the plague hit. Because this plague already has a cure readily available, research will be focused on the initial development of the disease, as in how did it originally come to exist. Another topic is the role of rats and fleas in this epidemic, how it so easily spread between these animals and how they obtained the disease to begin with. With this epidemic still being a problem in the world, although less severe, it's still important to understand these topics about the plague.